Okay, second graders, this week we have been working on the plan for our persuasive letter and we have organized it, right? We have a goal, we have two reasons, and for each reason, we have one detail or example. Today, what we're gonna work on is ending our persuasive letter, okay? When we end our persuasive letter, we are going to repeat our goal, okay? We're gonna repeat our goal at the end of our letter, but we're going to use different words. So today, what you need to find is your goal. You should have your goal already written down somewhere in your notebook. So find that piece of paper where your goal is written down, okay? Or maybe you have one that finds your organizer, your graphic organizer like this, okay? Mine, if I flip it over like this, I can see the marker through the back, which that's what happens when Mrs. Simmon uses the smelly markers. Um, so you can use the back. Yours probably doesn't look like the back of mine. I'm going to use my paper for this because you can see my marker through here, okay? So I'm going to show you my writing. What this has already looked like, right? And I'm going to make a new line right here where it says ending. Okay, and my ending is going to be where I restate my goal or I repeat my goal but using different words, okay? So my goal is that I would like a library to go into an empty building downtown. So I need to say this, but in a different way. My goal, I would like a library to go into an empty building downtown. So I want somebody to put an, a, a library into our town. I know that I would enjoy it so much and so many people in our town would enjoy it. So my ending is going to be one sentence, just like my goal was right here. One sentence, please bring a library full of books to our down town. It would make everyone so happy to read all the books. Okay, so I know that I said that your goal only had, or that your ending of your persuasive letter only had to be one sentence, right? And I added an extra sentence. You might have noticed that, okay? Because I wanted to add in a little bit of an extra detail about why they should do that. So I said, um, I have said, please bring a library full of books. Oh. Books, needed to add an S. Books to our downtown, exclamation point. Here is where I added my extra sentence. Just to really emphasize and tell them why it would be so great, it would make everyone so happy to read all the books, exclamation point. So this is the end, this is going to be the end of my letter. When I put it all together, this will be the end of my letter. This is me repeating my goal but in different words. My goal says, I would like a library to go, to go into an empty building downtown. I've said this again, telling them what I want. I've just used a few different words or just tried to say a little bit differently, but not completely different. You don't wanna change it too much. So what I would like you to work on today 
is right here where I'm putting a little circle. I'd like you to work on your ending. Your ending. Okay, the end of your letter, your persuasive letter should repeat the goal. Okay, should repeat the goal. It should repeat your goal. All right, and it should use different words. All right. I want you to work on using um, really um, like, like, like a really clear explanation or details if you can to really tell the reader what you want. Okay. Really work on telling reader what you want, but be polite as well. I want to show you though. So remember, if you're thinking, oh, I don't know what my goal is. Yes, you do. You know what your goal is. You've, you've already written it down. You have already written your goal down. Okay? So your goal is, is right up here. You have already written it down. Okay? Today, we are working on... Um, organizing our letter, our persuasive letter again, right? We're continuing to um, have and add in the things that we'll need for our persuasive letter. We haven't written it yet, but we're just gathering all the things that we need. And today, one thing that we need is an ending, okay? That's what we're going to work on today is the ending, all right? And the ending sentence is where we repeat our goal, but we're gonna use just a few different words. That's what, that's what I want you to work on today. All right, so you can see my goal up here. I would like a library to go into an empty building downtown. My ending says, please bring a library full of books to our downtown. It would make everyone so happy to read all the books. This, is, this will be the ending of my persuasive letter when I put it all together. This is what you're going to work on today. I cannot wait to see what you come up with. 